gospel of Christ. In his absence, they listened. Jesus said to him, Unexpected, a maundy message from a king who couldn't be here. It is for me a great sadness that I cannot be with you all today. The Maundy service has a very special place in my heart. Recorded in mid-March at Buckingham Palace, one of just a few times we've heard from the monarch since he announced his cancer diagnosis. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family. Less than a week after Catherine's video message, an audio one of the King's own. We need and benefit greatly from those who extend the hand of friendship to us, especially in a time of need. Celebrating kindness has always been at the heart of Maundy Thursday, dating back to the reign of King John. Last year, they did this together. This year, she was alone. Had he been here, he would have simply distributed the money and we wouldn't have heard from him, but he was able to give an inspirational message uh, and offer congratulations to the recipients. This the handing out of coins to those who volunteered in their communities. 75 men, 75 women. One for every year of the King's life. A unique time for the royals, the family's openness about cancer, sharing their battles with an awful disease that affects us all, has, if anything, brought a much deeper connection with the public at events like these, one which, in the past, they've struggled to make. Pam Bishop, a recipient who travelled down from Liverpool to receive her two purses. I'm in the middle of chemotherapy treatment myself, so I actually said to the Queen, give my best wishes, I understand what it's like. And she said, you're looking very well. <laughs> Back at Buckingham Palace, pictures of how the King is still working, but within more controllable settings. Meetings with ambassadors from the Republic of Burundi and Moldova. Health permitting, the next time we see him should be in person. Like many other families facing cancer, carrying on matters. Katie Spencer, Sky News.